Happy Friday, Mound Movers. We had something unique happen this week where Monday's DM went out. And then on Tuesday, I changed the daily motivation. The subject line was different. I rewrote the entire body of it, sent it out. But when it was sent out, just the morning difference makers and make a difference was different. Monday's DM went into Tuesday. And maybe it was a glitch or maybe somebody needed to see it again on Tuesday. I don't know, but we're going to share what Monday and Tuesdays was first. And it talked about the voids of our life. And maybe it doesn't look like a void, but maybe you keep continue to chase something that just feels hollow. And so some items could be, if you're not feeling loved, God loves you. If you're not feeling seen, God sees you. If you're feeling alone, God is with you. But if it's some of those things you're chasing, like money, maybe you need to find a bigger sum to your solar system to go after. Or maybe you need a purpose in your life that is bigger than yourself to go chase down. So look in the mirror on the voids of your life and find that one true answer, which is God in your faith. The next one, which was meant to be Tuesday, but ended up being Wednesday, was, which was from Craig Groeschel, and it's, we may impress people with our strengths, but we connect with people through our weaknesses. And for so long in my life, I had this wrong where I I thought I had to have it all together. I had to have all the answers. I couldn't show my weaknesses. And those are all lies. Because when we show our weaknesses, we show vulnerability. And vulnerability leads to connectivity. When we put this mask on, like we have it all together, that creates isolation. Nobody can relate to that. And that ends up being a lonely place. And so don't be afraid of your weaknesses. Express them, lean into them. Maybe you can turn them into strengths, but where do you need to share, maybe take that mask off in your life and just be your true self? Then the last one was about force multiplier. Where are the force multipliers? We are all super busy with our schedules. So when you're prioritizing your time, find something that activates many other things. Maybe it's a task that once you complete it, it expands your capacity exponentially. Maybe if you do this one thing, it activates a whole team of people to continue on. And maybe it's just you need to train somebody. And if you train this one person, they could go train many people. But you can't reach everybody. You just have to reach this one or two people that could go train many. So I encourage you to find the force multipliers in your schedule and make those a priority. Finish strong mountain movers and have an awesome weekend.